Hey guys, you might be wondering why I'm holding this doll. Well, I've had a lot of comments back and forth over the last few days about the last YouTube video that I posted, which was on the rule of thirds. And I thought I would make this easy how-to video on making a successful selfie video. So I actually did it a few days ago on my own. Usually I have an assistant on location and it was really hard. Um, so one of my colleagues, Kava Rosner, she actually uses a mannequin in her studio to get the right lighting and the right focus. So that's why I decided to use this New York doll of my daughter's and that really helped. So we've got three steps today. Number one, frame your shot. You want to make sure that you place your recording device at eye level. That means your laptop can be on a stack of books or get yourself a small little tripod. Today I'm using the most amazing Jobo Gorillapod for my camera. I'm so excited to be using it finally. Inexpensive and they can also hold smartphones. You also want to be looking up slightly, which is a tip that one of my film school teachers taught me that in my case, I'm looking up at the Canon, which means that my audience is looking up at me slightly, and that gives me a sense of expertise, authority, importance. Your viewers are going to trust you. The reason why we want to have it at eye level and not down below, let's say if you're like, you know, at your laptop, because you don't want to have that low angle. For ladies, it's no good. Double chin, eh. Also, even if you're skinny, it could distort your features. That's the exact point that one of my um, friends and colleagues was discussing, Shawnee Falk Roth, I hope you're watching, that you don't want to kind of seem larger than life and have the camera focused in on all of your imperfections. So how do you correct for that? Good makeup, good lighting, and zooming in. It's better not to use a laptop for that very reason because webcams can't zoom in. Webcams can't zoom in say that 10 times fast. So use your smartphone or a camera and that way you can zoom in, make yourself the focus of the frame and not have distorted features. Which brings us to topic number two, placing your subject. Well, rules were meant to be broken. In the last video we discussed the rule of thirds where I suggest that you put your subject on the third, on the side of your picture. Now we're putting yourself in the center or close to the center because for a selfie video you want to be communicating directly to your audience. You are the center of attention and what you have to say is important. Yeah. So make sure that you're right there in the middle, okay? It's like you're having an intimate dialogue in their living room. You want to grab their attention. Especially if you do have a laptop as your recording device, you don't want to be scanning the screen like for your lines or for the next person that pinged you because that's gonna lose their attention as well. You don't wanna to leave too much headroom, so that's why zooming in is really nice as well and which is also gonna cut out the background clutter. Which brings us to number three, finding a good background. Location, 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 so, so important. What are a few things that I look for? Well, good available light and we can discuss that in more depth in the coming videos, which I hope to be making. Uh, good light, you want to have a big window, white walls so that they can balance into your face, make sure that you're facing that light source. If you're outside, it could be a little bit um, loud, so indoor locations are better. But putting the window behind you is going to make your face look black. Another thing that you want to be aware of is that white backgrounds are pretty boring, so try to find something that's interesting. Bridie Castiel, an amazing social media expert who I've been watching this week um, on Facebook Live, she suggested even putting colors in the background that mirror your brand. So like brand consistency, that's amazing. Honestly, there's a lot that you could do to make your um, video successful. Just try some things and I guarantee you that it's going to make a better image, which is going to make a better message. Thanks so much. Try it. I'm happy to give you feedback. If you want to send me a link, drop me an emoji and we'll check you out next time.